Hi, this is Adam from Scooter Bits. I wanted to look today at what the difference is between the different wattage of motors that you might buy from um, any e-scooter company. I'm going to look at Pure today. Now I've got three motors here. These are from the Pure Air Gen 1 and Gen 2. And I've got the 250 watt, the 350 watt and the 500. So I'm going to apologise. I've um, I just thought of doing this while I was sat at my workbench one day. <clears throat> so I've just recorded it on my phone. So the camera's shaky. It's not the most scientific thing, but you know it's going to give us a good idea of what's inside these motors and if some of them are actually the same motor. Cool. So here all I've done is um, connect up using the same controller, same handlebars, same battery, and I'm just firing up and freewheeling the wheels on the full speed setting and I'm just learning what they're drawing freewheeling on the full, on the same setting so first of all I've gone for the 250 watt and then I'm going to switch over get this one spinning up and try and see what we're peaking at how much power we're using and that's the 350 watt hitting what's that point seven six amps I believe and then we'll move on to the 500 watt. Fire that one up. A bit trickier, this one. Here it is. And that's immediately taking way over. It's taking 1.18 amps. You saw it peak there. Right, so next we're going to have a little look inside. So I've opened them all up, released the cases. So here we are, whole sensor board is an SG115. You see that the white cable for the temp sensor isn't connected on any of the pure wheels. There we go, same SG115, identical inside. That's the 350 watt. Looks very very similar and then here we go here's the 500 watt and we've got a different board for the hall sensors different setup still no white cable connected and there we go So now I uh, thought I'd just put them on the scale, see what the difference is there. So it's not the best scale in the world, but we'll see pretty much roughly. So there we are, 1.5 kilos on that one. Let's move to the 350 watt. Mm, what have we got? 1.5 something kilos. And then let's move to the 500 watt. And there we are, 1.8 kilos. So, last thing I thought I could do is just uh, let's see how thick we are and give us an idea of how many windings there are in there. There we are, 250 watt. We've got about 25 mil here. There we go. Uh, let's move on to the 350 watt. I'll be very surprised if this is much different. Oh look, it's exactly the same. It's the same motor in the 350 watt and the 250 watt. I believe they're identical. Yeah, it's got the same readings, same weight, same readings. The 500 watt is a bigger motor. And there we are, 31.6 mil. So yeah, so they, the motors can be different. <clears throat> 